Siphoning Strikes just got hit with a huge nerf bat, which is sending ripples through the rogue community, trying to figure out how do we survive. What we're going to talk about today is just how bad is this? Is this workable? Or is this skill just dead? Now, in order to understand this, we first need to understand Lucky Hit. So what we're going to do is go over how Lucky Hit works in a slightly simpler example, and then we'll come back to this towards the end. Here we have another skill, uh, which is the Aspect of Misery, which tells us that Lucky Hit, when you hit a crowd-controlled enemy, there is up to a about 50% chance for that crowd control effect to spread to another unaffected enemy. Okay, so how does this work? Well, first, what we have to understand is that every skill has a certain lucky hit chance. So for example, rapid fire has a 22% lucky hit chance. And what that means is that every bullet that rapid fire shoots has a 22% hit chance. So rapid fire shoots 10 bullets if you have cunning stratagem with combo points. What that means is that out of those 10 bullets, 22% of them on average are going to be a lucky hit. If we round this just to make things a little bit simpler to say 20%, okay, then that means that two out of every 10 bullets are going to be a lucky hit. I'm going to highlight the lucky hit bullets. So this is going to be a lucky hit and this is going to be a lucky hit, two out of 10. Okay. Now, if we read this, it tells us that there is up to a 50% chance, rounding, for the lucky hit to proc this effect. So if I round this to 50%, okay, then that means that about one out of every two lucky hits is going to proc the aspect of misery. So here we've got two bullets, so one of those is going to proc misery. So that's the basic idea of how Lucky Hit works. First, you have to proc a Lucky Hit on the skill, and then it has a chance to proc the actual ability. Mathematically, the way that this works is if we take our 20% chance of getting a Lucky Hit and multiplying that by the 50% chance of procking, then we'd have 0.2 times 0.5, which gives us 0.1, or one out of 10, which is why we have one out of 10 bullets. Now, let's say you wanna create a build that really relies on getting lots of lucky hits. Are there some things that you can do and things that you can look for in order to increase how many lucky hits you are getting? And the answer is yes. Ways to get more lucky hits. So first off, hit faster. If you're attacking more often, well then you're gonna get more lucky hits more often, right? We can look for adding attack speed to our gear, so like our gloves, for example, or let's see if there are aspects available for your class, like the rapid aspect that will allow you to get off more attacks per second. Or you can even look at, for example, different weapons have different attack speeds. So for example, bows attack faster than crossbows. Okay. Secondly, you can see, are there any skill modifiers that add hits or any skills that just hit more often than other skills? For example, puncture, uh, you can get fundamental puncture where puncture now throws three blades in a spread. Instead of just shooting out one blade at a time, it shoots out three blades at a time, which effectively triples the amount of lucky hits that you're gonna get because every blade has the same lucky hit chance that just having one of them does. I don't know if this is an oversight of Blizzard, but it seems to be the way it works. Uh, or, for example, Cunning Stratagem, it increases the amount of arrows, if you're using combo points, from 8 to 10. So it says 9 here, but it's actually 10, based on video evidence. And that just gives us more bullets, more hits, more chances to lucky hit. And then the third thing that we can do to increase how many lucky hits we get is plus lucky hit chance. So for example, let's see you have five stacks of 10%. Well, then you would have a plus 50% uh, 
lucky hit chance LHC. Okay. And what this does is it actually does exactly what it says it does. It literally adds 50% lucky hits on average. So the way this works is that by having an increase of 50% lucky hit chance, well, that means that we get 50% more lucky hits. Well, how many lucky hits did we have before? Well, we had two, so 50% more, 50% of two is one. So we get one more lucky hit, which then gives us another 50% chance to proc a hit here. So now instead of getting uh, one out of 10, we'd get one and a half out of 10 or 15% chance. So mathematically, the way that this would work is we would take our 20% chance for rapid fire to proc a lucky hit, and we'd multiply that by the proc rate from the aspect, and then we'd multiply that by 150% for our plus 50% lucky hit chance. You might say, well, why don't we just multiply by 50%? Well, then that would make it smaller. So to make it bigger, we have to multiply by 150%, since 100% gives us what we started with, and 150% gives us 50% more than what we started with, which then this would be equal to, well, 50% of 20% is 10%, and 150% of 10% is 15%. So we get an extra 50% from what we had before, which was 10%. And so before we had 10%, and now it becomes 15% with 50% lucky hit chance. So now let's talk about siphoning strikes, now that we understand how lucky hit works. Siphoning strikes adds one more little complication, right? which is that it, critical strikes against close enemies have up to a 75% chance to heal you for 3% max life. So there's a few things that have to happen. One, you got to be close, right? Then if you're close to the enemy, then you got to get a critical strike. Then, if you get a critical strike, then you've got to get a lucky hit. Then, if you get a lucky hit, then you have a 75% chance to proc siphon, siphoning strikes. Okay. So just a few multipliers there, right? So... If we're close, well, then we're close, okay. Then if we critical strike, so let's say we have, let's say a 50% critical strike rate. Okay. So that we had a 50% chance at this point. So 50% of our hits. Then we have to lucky hit. So now we'd have to multiply this by 38%, since 38% of our critical strikes are going to lucky hit. And then we have a 75% chance to proc, which if we multiply this, that would be equal to 0.5 times 0.38 times 0.75, which gives us 14.25% chance. Another way to put this is Let's say we use puncture, and let's say we're using the puncture where we hit, where we throw out three punctures at once. Okay. So here's my first dagger, second dagger, third dagger, right? And then let's say we do this twice: one dagger, two daggers, three daggers, right? So we have six daggers, and 50% of them are going to critical strike, right? So half of them will crit strike, half of them won't. So half of them are gone right off the bat because these Got no crit. And then these ones did crit, so that's what's left. And now 38% of those are going to lucky hit. Now, just to make numbers a little bit easier, let's just say that this is approximately 33%, which is one third, right? One out of three. So now this one here, one out of three, is going to be a lucky hit. So this one's gone, this one's gone. And then 75% of what's left is going to proc, meaning that at this point, our one lucky hit has a 75% chance of procking and 25% chance of not procking. So a little bit less than one sixth, which is 14%. One sixth is 16% approximately. So 
essentially every time you use puncture twice, if you have a 50% crit chance, you're getting approximately one lucky hit proc of siphoning strikes. So every time you use puncture twice, approximately, you're going to get 3% life back. So pretty bad. And that's that's a, with a relatively high crit. So if you're thinking about using this for leveling, well, when you're leveling, your crit is probably more like 10 or 20%. So it's even worse than that, right? So you're looking at hardly any procs of siphoning strike. So is it worth using for leveling? I doubt it. I would not use it. It's, it's pretty much a dead three points here. Use them somewhere else. So I hope that was helpful, guys. Hopefully you guys learned something about Lucky Hit today. And feel free to leave your questions in the comments below. And check out my videos on my channel for more great tips and guides. And uh, learn about all the various defensive stats if you'd like. So have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.